Okay guys, so I am here today with an application review that I think you guys are going to really like. I know, I saw, guys, I saw this app, just a second later I bought it and using it and I've loved it. Um, it is called My Phone Desktop. Um, so basically what this app is all about is it allows you to push different information from your computer to your iPod, iPhone, or iPad. Um, kind of sounds simple, but guys, it's really, really good. Um, so if you take a look at my computer screen, you go ahead and there's two there's uh, two different clients you can run. You can either run the web client, which will just run inside your browser. I've, all you have to do is log in, um, or you can go ahead and run the uh, standard client for Windows, Mac, and Linux. So I'm on Windows 7, so I'm running the Windows client. Okay. So basically, the way this works is that you have to have the app on your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad, and then just have it. Uh, it'll automatically start running on your computer. Um, all you have to do is log in the first time, and it'll remember you after that. Okay, so the way this works, guys, is that all you have to do is type something on your uh, on your computer, and it will send it over to your iPod or whatever. Um, now, guys, this might seem kind of odd, but there's a lot of really cool things you can do with it. Okay, so for example, the first thing I'll show you guys is how to send a, a web address. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and open up a Maps. Oops. Go ahead and open up Maps, okay? So as you see here, I've got uh, searched uh, One Infinite Loop, California. So all I have to do is copy the code and then go ahead and then punch in the URL. Okay, so that's the Google Map. So all I have to do is hit Open and then it will send it over and my iPod should pick it up in just a second. And there you go, you just go automatically, it's launching the Maps application and it sent me to One Infinite Loop. So guys, that's just one example of it. It's very, very quick and easy. Um, I do notice that when you're over a kind of spotty Wi-Fi network, it, it can kind of get a little bit slow. But generally, it'll, if you, as long as you have it set to automatically search every five seconds, you shouldn't have any lag at all. The next main thing that you would use this application for is to send text over. Um, now, of course, this is kind of a bit less useful, but it's also a bit more useful depending on who you are. Um, so let's take, for example, you need to tap a Word document. You need to bring it over to your iPod or whatever, and you need to go on a trip or, or something. Well, it's very simple. With my phone desktop, you have, all you have to do is just take it, and just paste it in. So you can see that, and then you have a couple of options. You can just have it show on your iPod or iPhone, or you can have it copy to the uh, copy the text so you can paste it onto something else. So, for example, we're going to go ahead and show it. So we're going to send it up, send it across. And in just a second, it should pop up on my iPod. And there we go. So as you can see here, guys, this is a full Word document. And then what we can do now is by clicking the top right right here, we can go ahead and copy or assign the contact whatever. So we can go ahead and copy it in the first place. And then we can go ahead and bring it over to the notes application um, or whatever you use for your documents and stuff. So that's another really cool feature. Now the next one, and arguably, guys, this might be one of the coolest ones, is to send images over. Okay, so this works extremely simply. Um, so I have an image right here. So I'm going to go ahead and click this, and pull up the desktop, and I'm just going to open it. Okay, so now you guys can see it's loaded. It now I can have it copy to the clipboard on my iPod, which obviously then I could paste it anywhere I want. I can just have it show on my iPod, or I can have it saved to the Photos app. So let's go ahead and have it saved to the Photos app. So it just takes just a second, and you can see here, it says image saved, and you see here that it sent that image over very, very quickly. And if I'd like to take a look at my Photos app, it's already in there, so I can go ahead and have it and do whatever I want with it. Very, very cool stuff. Now the last thing you can do with my phone desktop is send either a phone number or an SMS. Now of course, guys, this is only iPhone only, but if you want, all you have to do, it does not display properly if you're using an iPod Touch or I'm sure an iPad. Um, but basically, all you would have to do is type in the number, which that's not so useful, but what is is typing an SMS. So what you might want to do is instead of you know typing it out on your cramped iPod, I mean iPhone keyboard, you could go ahead and very simply send it, type it all out on your computer, send it, and it will go ahead and send no problem. That's a pretty cool feature, I've got to say. Okay, guys, so there's one last thing, and this is the web client. Um, so basically, this you don't have to install anything at all. All you have to do is go to myphonedesktop.com and click the Run in Browser button. Then you can go ahead. And, of course, you just need to uh, sign into your account. But uh, all you have to do is just download it, and well, rather go ahead and sign in. You don't have to download anything at all. And then you will be greeted with this little box. And just to show you guys, it works. It works just the same. So we'll go ahead and go ahead and do text. And let's type in. Um, 
Hello YouTube. Okay, so now let's go ahead and have it show on my iPod. And there we go. Sent just as fast. Um, it's not, there's not a big difference at all whether you're using the web client or on your computer. So it's a very, very cool thing. Anyway, guys, this has been my review and demonstration of my phone desktop. Um, the images is pretty handy where you can go ahead and just send it over. Um, it does not work the other way around, but that's not a big deal. Um, so you can go ahead and send it over. And of course, text, you know, to be able to bring Word documents or anything that you need on your iPod, iPhone, or iPad. You can go ahead and type it up on your computer, send it over, and you're all set. Anyway, thanks for watching.